Hi, I'm Damon from Joy. So I'm going to show you today how to use the Joy Serena 2-in-1. So we start off with the seat unit itself. This is the only part of the Serena 2-in-1 that does require a battery to get the function of the vibrate working. So the main unit, it can be mains powered or battery powered. But this vibrate unit at the front here does require 1D battery to get that particular section working. So very easy to gain access to it. There's three prestons at the back there. And if you just undo one side, so just another three prestons on that side, you can gain access to the battery um, area here. Now we can either use a flat blade device like this to open up the housing, or even use the European adapter thing there. So very simple, 1D battery, straight in, like so. And we're ready for use. And that then gives us two different vibrate speeds operated by the uh, lever on the front there. So very, very quick and easy to, uh, to operate that. Now, <coughs> I'll just rescue my battery back from there just to show you the uh, main um, motion using batteries for the swing, the music and the uh, nature sounds. So three press stunts again. Seal back up there. Like so. Now popping this seat unit onto the main device is again very straightforward, it will just locate straight in there. To remove there is a button just at the side here, only one side, once that's depressed we can simply lift it straight off. We can pop it down of course to face the other way, but very easily we can spin and rotate. So we can do front to back or side to side motion for the child just by moving that around. We have got three different recline positions on the seat unit as well. So there's a little lever at the top here. It gives us those three different seating options for the child. And then when we have got the unit off and using it as a rocker, if we should need to stop the unit rocking, there is a little push through section at the back there that will stabilize the unit for feeding or anything like that. So very, very quick and easy to use. If we should need to move the handle back, just two little buttons, one on either side, and that will move all the way back or just to a holding position so it gains as easy access to get through to the little one. So we have got a few handle positions on there, but carrying is always in the vertical position like so. So as we place that then onto the swing itself, if we were going to use this on batteries, we've got the little compartment at the rear here. So again, use a flat blade device or the European adapter there to open up the compartment. We can then pop four little Duracell batteries in. Now these are the D batteries. So in total, if you were using it purely on battery powered, you would need five D batteries. One for the vibrate and four for the main housing. Once they're in there, this unit is then powered up and ready to go. Now, with regards to all the buttons and features on this unit itself, all powered from up here. So the light can work independently and we do have four different light settings. So as we push that on the first time, we've got three there and then of course off being the fourth one. That light will remain illuminated for a short time and then go off um, to of course save the power, but that just uh, as soon as we've pressed it will remain lit. Um, with regards to the um, other buttons here, we do need to press the power button there to gain access to the speed motion. And as you see there, we've got it on power setting three and we can press the different power ratings there up or down to gain and increase speed. Now they again, just like the light, will only stay lit for a short time before they go out. Um, with regards to the music, we can turn the music off by the very, very bottom button here. So if we've got zero speed on there, so there's no lights on at all, and we're thinking the product isn't working, just double check once we press the power button by pressing on the plus sign to check whether or not it is powered up. Okay, so very easy to operate that. We can use the sounds, so we've got five nature sounds and five lullabies, and we can use those independently without having the, the motor running as well. So on one side there, we've got the nature sounds, a variety of different ones, and on this side here, we've got the lullabies. So some of the five classics on there. And of course, if we don't want any of the bird sounds or um, lullabies, we can press the very bottom button there to turn it off. If we do want those and we're liking those, we can press the sound buttons to uh, turn it up or turn it down, of course. But uh, bottom one to turn it off, 
bottom one to turn it back on again for the sound and the motions. So with regards to its motion, we've got six different speeds so the child can start off nice and sedate and then gradually move up to a, uh, a faster speed if they should require that sort of extra level of soothing. And say so it can work as this is front to back or very quickly and easily just turn it to the side and go side to side motion. So of course that's using battery powers which does make it very very easy to move. Of course we wouldn't do that with the child in it and that's the beauty with the Serena 2 in one. If we are moving from one room to another we can lift, take the child through to another room and then just wheel the Serena base unit through to where we need it and of course then pop it straight back on and we're off again hopefully keeping the child nice and uh, soothed. If we should need to, as we plug in the battery, uh, sorry, as we plug in the mains power unit, that will override the batteries then. So this just plugs in at the very, very back of the unit here. So we have just got that little connector at the back. And once that's plugged in, that will do the power instead of the battery. So you can leave the batteries in there, and that then is ready for whenever you're moving through to another room, etc. So hopefully that's been of some use for you. So thank you for listening.